Welcome, my name is Shillianth and within this video I'll go through the latest trailer from Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life and point out some things that you may have missed. Stay tuned. First we have a woman talking in the video. This is rumoured to be Tia Delma from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. The shipwreck construction at the outpost appears to be where she will be found and is expected to be the starting place for the new tall tales. The tower we see in the trailer that gets exploded is modelled after the same tower at Disney. They even show the same time. The actor for Gibbs, Kevin McNally, is used as the voice actor for Gibbs within the Sea of Thieves world. There was also a number of new NPCs that appear to be added to the game. Ocean crawlers, there's the brawler crab-like face with the shell on their back. The model shows a red gem in their chest. Then we have what looks to be a clam soldier, a humanoid body with a clam head. The model shows an emerald gem in their chest. What I'm calling the eel whip. She's holding a whip that looks like it's sparkling with lightning from a, an, a lightning eel. There's phantoms that appear to be evil ghosts. The trailer also shows aggressive mermaids, something that has been teased since the very early stages of the game. There's a large rock foundation that looks similar to the Mother Kraken statue, although it also has similarities to the Sea Dog Tavern. The underwater ship in the trailer could be the Black Pearl. The figurehead looks as though it is a woman holding a dove. This is what Disney used in the movies. The waterside mentioned earlier also appears to be heavily inspired from the Goonies. The swords within the logo itself appear to be the Ferryman's sword and potentially Barbarossa's sword, as it is the only one that has an adorned hilt. Shelly the Crab makes an appearance as they have done within all of the Sea of Thieves trailer. The Man of War ship that appears in the trailer, presumably the Flying Dutchman. This is also something that Mike Chapman, John McMurtry and Andrew Preston seemingly joked about back in late March of 2020 when talking about ship sizes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, he says, have you guys ever experimented or plan to experiment with more ship sizes? Uh, no. uh, mm, <laughs> um, <laughs> so the ships were the ships were designed primarily around the. <laughs> I don't yes. know what he's gonna say. Yes, <laughs> we've experimented and it was very fulfilling. <laughs> um, rich, rich experimentation. Uh, it was wonderful. Um, no, uh, yeah, yeah, we have, yeah. We have, we yeah. have yeah. yeah. Is he honest answer? <laughs> that you have experimented with it? Yeah, we have experimented with it. Yeah. Yeah. End of end of sentence. End of statement. Yeah, that's it. So you want to say which sizes you've done? Did you go down to like a one-person ship, or did you go up to a six-person ship? Uh, or should I stop talking? <laughs> Think bigger. Think bigger. <laughs> There are mermaid statues that also feature within the trailer twice. Once as a yellow one, possibly a save point, and a second much larger one that appears out of the sea. Have I missed something that you noticed? Did you disagree with something? Let me know in the comment section below. However, that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.